Let's head to Fresh Meadows. Andrew Johns is on a fan. Hello, Andrew. Hey, John. How you doing? Andrew, I'm doing fine. What's on your mind here? All righty. Uh, so I, I'm I'm in this tournament. I mean, I've, I've enjoyed the way it's gone so far, but I uh, want to change the topic here. I want to talk about the Spurs and Warriors. Oh, no problem. Actually, and um, I know, Andrew, we had a bunch of March Madness finishes that were unbelievable, but on Saturday night, to have the tournament going and to have Spurs Warriors, arguably the game of the NBA, being played at the same time, if you're a basketball junkie, Saturday night was as good as it gets, and that was a terrific win by the Spurs. Oh, Friday night and Saturday night, arguably it was like the highlight of me watching basketball this weekend, especially how on, I, I saw the highlights on NBA.com. Letter was basically the way he's supposed to be, especially if you pair him up with uh, Aldridge. That's the best one to punch in the NBA you got right now. Uh, I'm not going to go that far. I still would give Golden State the edge because of what Curry's been able to do and what Thompson's been able to do. And they have Draymond Green, who's fantastic. But the Spurs are not going to be intimidated by Golden State. The Spurs put together a game plan on Saturday that shut down Steph Curry, that shut down Klay Thompson. I thought Leonard's defense was sensational. I thought Danny Green and the way he was able to guard I thought he did a phenomenal job as well. And San Antonio will be ready for the Golden State Warriors. And I hope and I pray, Andrew, we get a best of seven between those two teams in the Western Conference. Because that, for all intents and purposes, will be the NBA Finals. Not the winner of that series versus Cleveland or Boston or Toronto or whoever comes out of the Eastern Conference. The NBA Finals will be played about two or three weeks early this year with the Spurs and Golden State. But San Antonio, who hasn't lost at home this year, they're not getting home field advantage or home court advantage, I should say, because of the fact they lose a Monday to Charlotte. Terrible loss. They're down 20. They're up 27 and nine and they blow the game and Golden State hangs on against Minnesota. The San Antonio Spurs are going to have to find a way to win in Golden State. If they can do that, they can beat the Warriors. All right, and one quick question before uh, you know you hang up on me. Out of all the matchups heading in the Sweet 16, uh, what's your favorite matchup on paper right now? Oh, that's an easy one for me, and maybe I'm biased. Maybe it's because I'm a Syracuse guy. It's Syracuse-Gonzaga Friday night, 940 in a windy city. Because of the fact that you have two double-digit seeds, but you have two double-digit seeds that are very, very talented. Syracuse has talent in their backcourt. Benege is going to be playing professionally, probably be a second-round pick. Cooney, four-year senior. Malachi Richardson, upstart freshman. And then you have the bigs of Gonzaga. Sabonis Kid, who has phenomenal footwork, phenomenal skill. You have Wilcher, the former Kentucky player who can hit the outside shot. They are going to give Syracuse a problem. Can Syracuse do enough with their 2-3 zone, and can they hit enough outside shots? But that's a game I'm looking forward to. The other one I'm really looking forward to is the matchup you have between Villanova and Miami. Villanova finally gets over the hump, finally gets to the second weekend. Do they have enough gas left in the tank?